Hi friends, very welcome to my Vanitar. I am the host Hassan Moshiri. In this video, I gonna show you how to build a hand sanitizer dispenser device. As you can see on the table, I have built two different designs. So let me start from this one. This design uses SMD components. This is the IR transmitter and receiver. This potentiometer defines the transmission frequency and this potentiometer defines the transmission power. And this one uses deep components. Single layer PCB board is are the IR transmitter and receivers and this potentiometer defines the sensitivity. This one especially is quite cheap and pretty easy to build of course. For the liquid pump, I have selected this one that is probably the cheapest one in the market. These designs are standalone. It means you won't need any Arduino or microcontroller. So let's get started. All right, this is the first design. Uh, it is a two layers PCB board and as you can see all components are SMD. I have designed the PCB to be as compact as possible. Majority of the component except two or three of them are on the top layer. These two pictures shows a 3D view from the top layer and a 3D view from the bottom layer. Using the Symaxis component libraries significantly reduced my design time. These libraries are free and they follow industrial IPC footprint standards. To install the libraries in your favorite CAD software, you can either install the Symaxis CAD plugin or you can download the libraries from the component searchengine.com. I use Altium Designer, so I prefer to use the Altium plugin. This is the first prototype of the circuit on a semi-homemade PCB board. You don't need to follow me, just order the PCB for fabrication and have fun. Alright, this is the PCB board of the second design. As you can see all components are deep and the PCB board is a single layer. Although the component packages are deep, however, uh, the PCB is compact and well set. Okay, this is a 3D view of the PCB board. You can see the connectors at the right side, uh, IR transmitter and receiver at the bottom, also other components such as comparator, transistor, potentiometers and the rest. The same as the first design, I used the Symaxis component libraries for this circuit also. I used the libraries for a couple of components and installed them using the Altium CAT plugin. I am happy with these libraries because they prevent design errors and significantly reduce the design time. Ok, welcome back. As you can see, I have put everything in place and filled the glass with some water to test the operation. Let me show you from different angles. This is a top view. You should seal or coke the gap with hot glue or something like that. This is a front view. You can see the power, pump and LED connections. Also, as you can see, I have curved the hose using this simple copper wire and I put the LED on the lid, I mean here on the top, to brighten the inside the container with a beautiful blue light. Now I am gonna connect the power supply to the device and check the operation. As you can see I have provided 5 volts and let's see how much current it consumes. Uh, it's covered by the hose. Okay, it's around 40, maybe 50 milliamps maximum. Uh, now I gonna show you how it works if I uh, put my hand in front of the sensor. Uh, just see. Uh, bingo. Another try. And yes, it works. Winner winner, chicken dinner. So as you see, you have to provide a fixed and regulated 5 volt supply for the device. One option is to use a mobile charger. Doesn't matter which brand it is. Look, all of them provide a fixed 5 volts at the output. Another option is to use a mobile power bank because the power bank also provides 5 volts at the output. This is beneficial if you want to make this device portable. Let me show you one power bank here. 
something like this. If you decided to use a power bank and make this device portable, don't forget to calculate the discharge time. In my case, this power bank would last between 3.5 to 4 days before the full discharge. And finally, Bob's your uncle, this is how this hand sanitizer dispenser looks like in the dark. Don't forget to subscribe to not to miss a video. Catch you next time.